Hello everybody, welcome along. My name is Benjamin Bloom. This is the Benjamin Bloom Football Channel. Please leave your bias at the door and we are reacting to the news that um, Marcus Schott has been fired as Barnsley manager. Last few times we've had news break like this, we have just jumped to YouTube and uh, gone live for an immediate reaction. So apologies for any kind of lack of heads up. But if Anybody is out there at 10.30 um, here on Monday morning. Uh, get your comments in and let me know your thoughts on a, I think it's a third sacking now this season in the Championship. Chris Hewton obviously out of Nottingham Forest. Mick McCarthy out of Cardiff. And now after round 15, Marcus Shop is out of Barnsley. We sort of questioned in the review show, um, whether uh, Barnsley would give shot to the end of the week, international break coming up, which then takes you to round 17. Uh, they've obviously made a decision last night. We saw um, a lot of journalists go in with um, the idea that he'd been fired yesterday, frankly, and we were going to get an announcement tomorrow. And those journalists have turned out to be reliable and correct um, because it is Corner flag time, um, sadly, over on the Barnsley Twitter. Uh, there you go, 10 a.m. Uh, this news broke, so just about 30 minutes ago. Barnsley Football Club can confirm the departure of first-team head coach Marcus Shop with immediate effect. Let's have a little gander um, and see what's been said. A short statement um, there. Oh, excuse me, it's opened it in another window, so let me just... Do that so you can all see it. Technology, got to love it. Um, Barnsley Football Club can confirm the departure of first team head coach Marcus Schott with immediate effect. The club places on record its appreciation for Marcus's efforts and wishes him the very best in future endeavours. Uh, Chief Exec uh, Khaled El Ahmad said, On behalf of everyone at the club, I would like to thank Marcus for the last few months and wish him well for the next step in his career. I would like supporters to know that the process for finding a suitable replacement is underway and we will announce a new appointment in due course. If I can just chime in there, remember, they've bought themselves um, in terms of caretaker, manager. If the caretaker does the next two games, they've bought themselves until it will be the weekend of the sort of around the 20th. So you'd imagine something will be announced at Barnsley around then uh, Marcus Shop remarked I would like to thank all of those who've accompanied me in this short but very intense time it is a pity that our hard work was not reflected in the results I wish the club all the best for the future and uh, that they will achieve their goals Joseph Lauman will take charge of first team affairs on a temporary basis starting with Wednesday night's Skybet Championship class with Derby County the club will not make any further comment at this time and we should mention this was raised several times in the review show, I believe the next two games for Barnsley are against Derby and Hull. And if I were to bring up the championship table, you would see why that is a very, very pertinent couple of games. Because have a look down there. It's the other two teams in the bottom three. Now, I know I'm very grumpy about the idea of the new manager bounce. And I think players get away um, a little bit scot-free with that uh, analogy sometimes. However, maybe they are banking on some kind of a manager leaving bounce or caretaker manager bounce with Mr. Lauman taking charge. And they're hoping, can they get two points, three points, four points, God, even six points over those two games and hope for a little bounce? Um, you can see it's gone absolutely terribly for Marcus Shop, 15 played, only one win. And remember, uh, Coventry did have a penalty save right late on in that game. And I believe if my numbers are correct, it's seven straight defeats that Barnsley were on. Eight straight defeats did for um, Mick McCarthy, didn't it? So, um, yeah, it was very much a case of, I think, are they going to give him the next two? And they're vital games, aren't they, against Derby and Hull? Or are they going to go now, see if the players get a bit of a bounce from uh, Mr. Shop, frankly, not being around, 
and then they've got the fortnight. So I suppose it makes sense on some basis if they thought that shop was shocked liver or sorry, too many puns on, on that one. Shops fired. Um, if they thought that he was done, then yeah, what is the point letting him have the next two games? Um, uh, let the players try and react and maybe um, a new atmosphere sort of might help buoy them to a couple of wins. Um, in terms of the big picture, I do have sympathy for Marcus Shop. I know it's gone terribly badly, but when we talk about what led up to him being hired, it really had the idea of, uh, they often say after a period of success or overachievement, perhaps at a club, you don't want to be the guy to immediately follow. You want to be the guy after. And Shop was the guy who immediately followed a couple of good managers, really, because um, Barnsley obviously came up uh, with Daniel Stendel and they had that dreadful start. And then they took ages to hire Gerhard Struber, who it turns out was probably the right guy to wait for, because then they went on a good run towards the end of that 1920 season. Yes, I do accept the narrative that they were in the bottom three going into stoppage time of the very, very last game. And I do also accept the narrative that off-pitch problems at Wigan also helped uh, Barnsley to survive. But it is what it is. They were trending up and they did survive. Then Gerhard Struber uh, wants to go and go back and work for the old Red Bull group, doesn't he? Um, and uh, Valerian Ishmael comes in. And we got what was a very, very hard act to follow then because... Ishmael immediately started playing this crazy direct fitness-based pressing style, using the five subs and um, the good work before Ishmael had... I'm not, I'm not saying it, Ishmael wasn't great, he was, um, but people like uh, Britton and Styles stepping up, Helic came in and Anderson at the back, Moat brilliant in central midfielder, Palmer uh, stepped up, then DK in on loan with Woodrow and, so, and just... Everything clicked and Barnsley were absolutely superb, weren't they? Um, just beat up the championship, huge winning streaks. Uh, ultimately, couldn't go that one step further and win in the playoffs. And it all fell very, very lightning in a bottle and a huge climb from sort of just outside the relegation zone to fifth. You know there's going to be some inertia then, don't you? And Shop had to then go in. And of course, a whole load of um, changes and departures. Dane Murphy, the chief exec, went off to Forest. Ishmael, the manager, obviously because shop's arriving, uh, goes to West Brom. He takes Alex Mowat, the captain, with him as well. Uh, Daryl DK, who was very, very good in the second half of last season on loan from Orlando City, um, obviously then goes back. There was no way they were going to afford to uh, bring him in. Although perhaps we might see Mr. DK when the uh, MLS season finishes, um, uh, when, when is it, sort of December um, time, we might see him come back to England on loan. Um, I'm sure Mr Ishmael might be interested in taking him. Anyway, what what we got was the shop basically had to come in after a period of, um, and I, I don't think any Barnsley fans will mind me saying, overachievement. It was an incredible season to finish fifth. God, if that you know we were praising Luton for you know being in the top half, if they'd have been around Luton um, in um, I think where did Luton, I think Luton finished twelfth or thereabouts. Correct me if I'm wrong in the in the chat. If they'd have been around there, we would have said that was a good performance. But to finish fifth was incredible. It was always going to be a tough job, wasn't it? And on the pitch, they just didn't look good at all, did they, Barnsley? It's almost like. They went from this most intense, crazy football to a little bit of a um, stodgy trying to play possession. And um, it just didn't work. I think it was too much of a change for a lot of the players. There was staff changing um, in the background as well. And, yeah, they've just been hopeless, haven't they, Barnsley, um, this season? Let me just bring up what's actually happened for um, Marcus Schopp. Um, they got a draw at Cardiff on opening day and then they beat Coventry um, on round two. It was actually a very good start, four points from the first two games. But 
I can already hear the comments saying, but Ben, Cardiff have been rubbish and fired their manager this season and Coventry missed the penalty in the last minute. And yes, I accept those mitigating factors. And then uh, they lose at home to Luton. And do you know what? It's those couple of games where I think the click could have happened. I, I think even Luton fans admitted in that game, um, Barnsley were all right and Luton sucker punched them. I think Bell scored early and then um, Luton um, ground out the win. And then the game against QPR feels like a real turning point for Marcus Schott, where they were 2-0 up. They're playing well in the first half. They end up drawing the game 2 all in injury time. And all of a sudden, it could have been, say they draw against Luton and, and they beat QPR, all of a sudden, they're right up the top of the table there with eight points from four. And then the rut step starts, doesn't it? Uh, draw at home to Birmingham, beaten by Bournemouth. Uh, they drew at Stoke, but they got battered by Stoke. And Brad Collins played brilliantly, didn't he, in goal. Nil-nil uh, against Blackburn. And from then on out, it's been awful, hasn't it, for Shop? Um, seven straight defeats, uh, Blackpool there. And I mean, OK, you can talk about getting teams at the wrong time. They did get Blackpool Forest on their, uh, quote, new manager bounce under Steve Cooper there. Um, Millwall were on a nice little one. Reading. Borough, they lost to Sheffield United and um, the last straw, Bristol City's first home win since January or whatever it was and shop goes out. So look, I I have some sympathy, um, but I also confess that it was dreadful, wasn't it? So I have sympathy that he followed a very hard act in Ishmael and a, a big overachievement to finish fifth last season. There was going to be a drop off. He couldn't mitigate it. Key people left the club. Moat, DK, Murphy, the chief exec, etc. But then, of course, I do admit he did underperform. And seven defeats on the trot. Unsustainable for sure. And again, I'll come to your comments in just a sec. I'm sure we've got plenty. But administration for Derby, 12 points deduction. On pitch, Barnsley are the worst team in the league aren't they? Um, if you add the 12 back on for Derby on the pitch, they've been all right. They're functioning at uh, 17 points uh, rather than the eight that Barnsley are. So, yes, I have sympathy for him. Yes, it was a difficult job, but yes, he did it very, very badly. And it's one of those quick, um, see my Ipswich scarf there? It's a Paul Hurst job, isn't it? You try it, it really works out badly and you make the change. You just You just move on. And that's sometimes the case. And of course, we wish Marcus shot well in whatever he goes on to do. Um, I'm going to come to the comments. Let me know what you want to see from Barnsley in terms of a new hire. Look, Stendel, Struber, uh, shop. It's always been um, Austrian, Austrian league. Uh, Ishmael, sorry, I missed out as well. That's the market they've gone to. Um, obviously, there's the new chief exec. I don't know whether he'll try something different. Uh, there is the spectre of um, Mr. Mick McCarthy and the emotional um, trip home there, but that would be completely out of line with the types of hire that uh, Barnsley have done over the last um, few seasons. Let's have a look at some uh, comments then and see what you guys are saying. Thank you um, for joining me here this morning at very, very um, short notice. Uh, George... Thank God he's gone. Uh, second day, it seems, yeah, Nuno has gone as well from Spurs as well. Tom, <laughs> absolutely gutted as a Derby fan. I think, yeah, perhaps he saw that as a chance. Um, someone that Derby might have been able to catch with the points deduction. Uh, SP, so happy he's been sacked. Uh, Lee, expected to be fair. Have a feeling, and it's a cliche, but uh, he's lost some of the dressing room. I mean, I think that 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 doesn't seem too much of a stretch, does it, Lee? I it, it it didn't feel a very good camp. And we did as a watch along, didn't we? We did the um, uh, Barnsley-Sheffield United game very recently. I've only done two Barnsley games this season, I think. And one of them was the one against Stoke where the keeper had an absolute whirly and Woodrow smashed a free kick in from 30 yards. Um, and then uh, the Sheffield United game, they were, the first half was bad and they collapsed to 3-0 early in the second half. Nuno to Oakwell. I'm sure you'd take Nuno. Yeah, there you go. Um, Tony, I always enjoy Benjamin Bloom's second post-mortem. Um, but thank you, Tony. Of course, 
we don't we don't like to see people lose their jobs, but we know how competitive uh, football is, and you 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 can't perform how Shop uh, did as well. Uh, had to happen, didn't it? I uh, think they might go English this time, says Jack. Big decision. Get this appointment wrong, playing League One next year. He's totally right, Jack, isn't he? They they need an upturn in those points. They're way, way off the point per game to get you around 45. And are they going to be hoping for, you know, one or other teams to join Derby and get a points deduction? So um, let's have a look. What else are we saying? Uh, Thomas, glad he's been sacked. Football was awful, but wishing well, yeah, well said. Um uh, Barnsley are expecting to go for a manager already in England during to, due to the visa issue. Interesting. Uh, uh, Jonathan, how are you, Ben? Who's uh, Alex Neal? That's a good shout. Um, Alex Neal wouldn't be miles off um, in terms of their profile. A uh, sort of young, newish manager, very, very um, experienced um, in terms of Championship football at a very, very young age. Um, we know that that's going to happen, don't we? Links with Mick and the emotional returner. Luke, glad he's gone. We have a cracking squad, but he just didn't have a clue out of his depth. Uh, we don't turn into a bad team overnight. Yeah, I agree with most of that, Luke. There's good players there, especially people like Callum Styles and Callum Britton, who we've mentioned uh, as well. Helic, um, Anderson, etc. I do think you need to acknowledge what a tricky job it was. But yes, I, I agree. He he did that job very, very badly. Uh, any more comments coming in, Thomas? Depressing football that we were playing. I can see your point, but Jesus, it was awful. I, I know, I know, I know. Uh, the football was not good, was it? Um, complete opposite um, of what Ishmael did, and that worked. Uh, as well, um, Russell, best start to a week I've had this season. I feel you, I feel you, um, uh, Barnsley fans. Um, Shauna, uh, they gave him a lot of co time considering how well they did last season. Yeah, it was a massive drop off. Again, I think you need to factor in all the changes and what a hard act and what an overachievement it was uh, last season. Uh, Hans Wolf, I've not heard of him, but I wouldn't be surprised if um, I hadn't heard of any of the last few Barnsley managers. Um, so there you go. Uh, Red Robbo, we need a Stendel Ishmael to take the fear out of the lads. They're terrified of the ball. You could see that, um, Robbo, couldn't you? The confidence just completely um, lost. Uh, Mick Mack will never come as he doesn't want to ruin his legend uh, status. I don't know where else he's getting hired, Luke, at championship level now. So um, uh, it's funny uh, these managers getting sacked for not being up, whereas I'd say the Spurs and Barnsley players went well. Can't sack all the players, though, can you, Spells, as much as you may be right. Um, would like Ainsworth. I mean, look, in terms of profile and being horrible to play against and being quite direct, Ainsworth does fit the bill, doesn't he, um, Wickham? Uh, in, in fact, I'm going to Wickham tomorrow night to watch Ship Street, so I'd be quite happy if Barnsley take Ainsworth out um, in the next day as well. Um, losing Solbar and Moat wasn't easy, but he got in um, three-plus strikers that he's barely made you. So, yeah, it's all gone very bad, I think. And uh, Neil Redfern rumoured as well. He was a great player for Barnsley, wasn't he? He managed Leeds as well. Uh, Redfern, where is he? He's on the staff at Sheffield United. I can't, I can't remember. But look, there you go. Um, that is a very, very quick um, uh, pricey on Marcus Shop. We always go live on these ones. I can, I can sit and do the... Um, do all the research, but we we know the we know the score here, especially with someone like Barnsley, who's been um, in the championship under my watch for a while. In conclusion, I have sympathy for Shop. I think it was a difficult job and a hard act to follow after a real great season of period of overachievement. But obviously, he did dreadfully badly, and um, we're in the table doesn't lie um, position, and they're in an awful run, aren't they, Barnsley? So. I understand the decision. I understand Barnsley fans being very unhappy with him. And I wish, um, and I'm sure everybody does wish Marcus shot well, wherever he ends up. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Sorry, we're trying to react to that news within about 30 minutes of it breaking. So um, a very quick, um, unplanned stream. We'll be back tonight with the preview for the next load of games as we react to the news that Marcus Schott becomes the third championship manager to be fired this season thank you everybody for watching if you're watching after the fact get your get your thoughts in get your suggestions for a new manager at barnsley 
in via the comments and we'll see you all very soon over and out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. To see more videos from this channel, hit the subscribe button and to be notified every time we upload, ring the bell for those notifications to come through on your device. If you really want to support the channel and me as a content creator, I will be eternally grateful if you head over to the merch store and grab something or support over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Thank you for your time. Go watch another video.